receive us. Hey there, it's Gary from LawNarration.com, uh, and I wanted to talk about something real quick. This is just a spontaneous sort of uh, spur of the moment video because I've got a situation here that I wanted to discuss, and sometimes you don't get a lot of opportunities to do this. Uh, so let's take a look at what I'm talking about. Um, I have a customer uh, that I just pulled up to, and uh, we started a program with them about a year or so ago. Uh, maybe actually it might be going on a year and a half now. But uh, the first thing they had called us about was what usually gets us in the door with most customers, and that's, um, you know, they've got lawn problems or dead spots in the lawn. So when we first came to this customer's house, uh, let's take a look a little closer. So the first time we came uh, to visit this customer, um, the front lawn here was completely dead. Uh, basically from the sidewalk all the way to the street, it was dead and the curb line was dead. And I mean dead, the grass looked about like this concrete. Uh, also this curb line and over here on the side of the house, uh, back to most of the side was also dead. Um, so you can see the situation now. Now keep in mind that was about uh, probably 18 months ago um, and that was in the fall we came and we seeded and aerated at that time did some slice seeding uh, I don't think I have any pictures or I'd include them uh, but when we slice seeded this uh, the grass came back in uh, we switched it over from a blue grass to uh, mostly a tall fescue blend um, however um, the grass came in and it looked great uh, for about six months then going into last summer she started to lose this grass again. Um, you know, five, six months into it, she started to lose the grass. So we actually did a little bit of overseeding and touch-up work last fall um, because, as you can see, the bare patches are returning. What I've noticed is that these patches are returning in the same areas. Uh, now, it's not nearly as bad as the first incident. Uh, when we got here the first time, I couldn't really identify what the problem was. I thought maybe it was a late... Um, a late diagnosis on this one but I thought maybe it was cinch bugs that caused the initial grass to die um, so we just seeded it uh, like we normally would uh, for a customer repaired it got it all looking good going into the next spring it was great so in the fall after they had lost more grass uh, we came back and we did an aeration and an overseed on it and um, it helped to boost it but you can see it's still patchy so uh, last fall it was probably, I don't know, 50% uh, thinner than what you're seeing it right now. Um, now, this is, uh, what, the second day of spring. So, the reason I'm making this video uh, is to explain a couple things because um, if you've seeded a property um, once or twice and the grass seems to die in the same areas, there's usually an underlying problem. So, uh, let's back up just for one second. As I mentioned, we seeded this area in the fall. The grass came in great. Now that's a clue, uh, because if the grass does not come in good initially, well, then that could be um, either a poor seeding technique um, or another problem. Um, maybe the grass wasn't taken care of. Maybe it didn't get enough water. Maybe it was a hot summer and that caused it to die. Um, but if everything is done right, um, proper fertilization, proper watering, and things like that, then there's probably an underlying condition. So the first thing I generally like to do is try to get a little history. So in this situation, talking to the customer, um, I asked her some questions and I did find out that there used to be a larger tree uh, in this area and they removed it a few years back and planted that smaller birch tree. So that tells me right away that there could be some issues underneath the soil. If there's old roots under the soil, you can find a couple issues. One, issue that you can find is that there could be physical roots or objects underneath the root system of the grass. If there's uh, roots underneath the grass or anything underneath the grass for instance um, then the root base will be shallow and it will cause the grass to die out much more quickly especially in heat. Uh, so that's something to look for. Also if it's an old tree or there is other plant material removed uh, something that you can uh, consider is what we're doing right here. And I'm actually going to dig in a couple different spots. And I'm going to get a soil sample. 
and we're going to send this to the lab to have it analyzed because when you have tree roots or for instance a stump that was ground um, those chips in the ground will start to decay so when they start to rot uh, it can actually change the pH uh, acidity level in the soil and of course um, you know grass likes a neutral pH um, to grow so we're going to send this to the lab to find out if that's the cause of why uh, our grass grows in at first and then has a uh, tendency to die out uh, after it comes in nice. Um, often I'll find that that is the cause of the grass being uh, dying out. Now another thing I'll look for is anything obvious. So when you dig in these holes, we start to look for anything obvious that's in the grass. Uh, and for instance right in here uh, as I dug in this hole as I got down about two inches underneath I started to pull out Tons of rocks it looks almost like gravel so that makes me wonder if um, uh, You know the gravel and it's only about two to three inches under the surface and I dug in a couple different spots and I found the same type thing so what we might find in this situation is it could be an issue where there's a, a pH imbalance or it could simply be that there's a lot of rock under the surface. Uh, if there's a lot of rock under the surface, well your grass can come in good with proper watering. But if you don't continually water it, then the grass will um, suffer because the area would dry out very quickly, doesn't get enough water. And then all of a sudden, you know, when it's hot, the grass starts to burn and die out again. So, obviously, <clears throat> the rock is not going to be a helpful addition. I guess to summarize this situation, uh, what do you do or where do you go when you've tried to seed an area in your lawn and it continually or repetitively dies in the same area? So, the checklist kind of goes like this. First of all, try to get history and background on the area if you can. If there's any clues like old landscaping, tree roots, uh, stump grindings in the area, then I would definitely suggest a soil test. A soil test is a good place to start when you're having problems anyway because it will let you know how to adjust the chemicals uh, on your fertilization into the lawn. Um, something that you can do on site if a chemical test isn't readily available or practical you can always dig around a little bit and just look for obvious clues if there's something under the surface um, it creates a lot of bad effects in the long term for the grass so you can find things like I've found two by fours under there I found pieces of plywood I found big boulders I have found gravel um, I've found plastic you name it I've found it under the surface of the roots whenever you have something under the surface of the roots then uh, obviously the roots are not going to root very deeply and it's not going to retain moisture uh, in the soil those areas are usually going to dry out very quickly anytime you have a hot spell through the summer those are going to thin out and die so look for the obvious things um, look for obstructions under the soil um, try to do a history to find out what's going on with the lawn and then thirdly uh, if you're having trouble do a soil sample as a side note, you might ask me, well, why don't you do a soil sample every single time you go to seed? Well, for us, that would just be impractical because, you know, I might seed anywhere from 10 to 15 yards a day. Doing soil samples for every one of those is not cost effective. So generally, we only do it when a customer has trouble uh, with the lawn or the seed came in or it's an ongoing problem. So hopefully this video helps you uh, figure out some problems with your lawn. Um, if not, you can always give us a call and we'll try to help you figure it out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Talk to you later.